What is up, friends? Well, it is Pokemon Day, and we all know what that means. It is time for a Pokemon Presents. And, as always, I, as someone who is not much of a Pokemon fan and has only ever played one Pokemon game, am here to react to and discuss it, providing my unique perspective, you could say. I am entering in with low expectations, as I typically do for Pokemon Presents. Even with low expectations, last year's two presents were especially noteworthy for how unenjoyable they were. And this is an opinion reflected by my fellow Kirotaikai authors who happen to be Pokemon fans. They were poorly paced and they really didn't focus on what fans wanted to see. Hopefully, this presents here on Pokemon Day can change that. Though, once again, I am not keeping my hopes up whatsoever. But we shall see. This Pokemon Presents is shorter than usual, at only 13 minutes, so whether they waste most of that time focusing on free updates for mobile games, or focus on things that the fans actually want to see, like new games, or even better, at least for someone like me who's always wanted to experience the Pokemon Legacy content, finally putting the Game Boy or Game Boy Advance games on NSO. But we shall see. Pokemon Presents tend to be hit or miss, but I am entering in with low expectations, and we shall see how it turns out. So, let's react to and discuss the Pokemon Day 2024 Pokemon Presents. So, the Pokemon Presents is mere moments away, and the countdown is about to begin. So let's see what this presentation has in store. Should be starting out. All right, there we go. So we have the minute countdown. So technically the Pokemon Presents premiered here at nine o'clock, but it, we still have a minute countdown. So technically it actually begins at 9.01. But hey, now we're down to 30 seconds. So it's almost time. Let's see what this Pokemon Presents has in store for us today. Once again, I am entering in with low expectations, but that's the thing about low expectations. It's very, very hard to uh, let down low expectations. So, either it'll be just, you know, not, not be below my expectations, or it might even be above my expectations if they surprise us. I know it's iconic, but why does every Pokemon Hello, everyone. related presentation or anything always have to have the red and blue title Today, screen? It's, uh, it's just a bit overused for my taste. This is the date that the Pokemon Red and yes, Pokemon Green Pokemon games Day. were first released in Japan. Our adventures with Pokemon which started with the simple fun of collecting, trading, and battling in the Pokemon Red and Pokemon Green games have expanded to fit into so many facets of daily life, including yeah. walking and sleeping. Pokemon Red and Green we'll games. So ourselves to create new ways to enjoy Pokemon. Red and Blue. And we hope you'll continue your adventures with us. But could you Today, release those on it? So we'll be bringing you all the latest news about Pokemon, but we'll see. including our newest titles. Mr. Utsunomiya, please take it away. Hello, I'm Utsunomiya from the Pokemon Company. I hope everyone has enjoyed their adventures in the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games so far. To commemorate Pokemon Day. We've planned a series of Terra Raid battle events where you'll be able to face off against a mighty Venusaur, Blastoise, and Charizard. <clears throat> this is what I'm the talking about. A Nintendo Direct. Tomorrow. This is what I'm talking about when, I, when I'm talking about the, the poor pacing. A Nintendo games. Direct already would have gotten Today, into the first like major announcement the right now. updates on a number of our other games. Please have a look at this. Yep, so updates for Scarlet and Violet with new Terra Raid battles. And updates for other games. Probably mostly mobile games. Or almost entirely mobile games. A collaboration event with Pokemon Go is on its way. 
Okay, so Pokemon Go is receiving a crossover with the the new animated series. Pikachu wearing Cap's hat is making to be its expected. debut. It even knows an attack new to Pokemon Go, Bolt Tackle. Charcadet, Armor Rouge, and Cerulege are coming too. And Liko and Roy will be dropping in when you snap a pick and go snapshot. So set out on an adventure with your new friends. <clears throat> All right, so we've got the uh, Pokemon Go news out of the way. So let's move on. And, and now we get Pokemon Sleep. <laughs> yep, the mobile games. Okay. You know, Pokemon Sleep, it's, it's very interesting because, of course, you, you had it announced so long and then, and then take forever to release, even though it's it's such a simple concept um, and not, not that great of a game. I guess it's not really meant to be much of a game, but I, 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 I say this, I, I've said this in the, in the Pokemon Presents before, but honestly, you could slap anything on Pokemon, and it would sell, and it would get attention. I wish I, the same could be true for Pikmin, but Pokemon is kind of the uh, the biggest media franchise of all time. Now, I never give up. Right, and then the, the Pokemon Masters EX mobile game, also getting the update, which was leaked yesterday, actually, so not much of a surprise. Wow, that, that just flashed through like, a lot of things way too quickly, but... <laughs> and then another, another mobile game, although I guess this is also on Switch, so it's not entirely a mobile game, but it is technically just a mobile game on Switch. <clears throat> so I hope for something different. Oh, I like those Diglett sandwiches. <laughs> uh, I was hoping for something different from this Pokemon Presents, but no, we're, we're still just going through all the mobile games <sighs> as usual. But hey, at least they're going through them quickly. This is a, a, a I like the, I, I complained earlier about the pacing, but I think this is actually kind of nice. They're getting through the mobile games snappy and quick so that they don't, uh, they don't spend too much time focusing on it, because it, it can be a slog, especially when they focus on it too much. But this is... They're, they're going through it pretty quickly. And I, and I appreciate that. And it seems they... They might have been listening to the complaints about pacing. And, and that's that's nice, because this is only a 13-minute presentation. Uh, and so... It's, it's good that they're not focusing too much on mobile games. But again, it's taking up most of the time. We're about halfway through the presentation, and... We're, we're still just on mobile games. All right, that should be it for the mobile games, hopefully. Let's see what's next. Moving on, please have a look at this video. I like that. Well, what is this video? Okay, we've got some sort of live action trailer. Okay, no. never mind, never mind. It's mobile. I was wrong. Oh, is this? I know they have a, um, a, a a website that's Pokemon training ga card game, but is this like a, a dedicated app for the Pokemon training card game? I, I'm too unfamiliar to know, but actually that, that is what a lot of people have been requesting, and if that is the case, then it's actually pretty cool. Uh, but this is for collecting cards, but can you actually... A battle with with the cards or, or connect in any way or is it just for okay trade with friends all right trading feature may not be available at launch okay and and quick battles okay <clears throat> 
Dr. Normal of, of Cure Tarka is, 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 you know, he's always been into the Pokemon training card game as a diehard Pokemon fan, so... I'm, I'm, I'm sure he'll have some interest in this. And also, like I said, this is what <clears throat> a lot of people have been requesting. Uh, a dedicated Pokemon trading card game on mobile, rather than just, you know, the website that they have now. Like, are they are gonna are they gonna are, are are they gonna acknowledge this as a sequel to the to the Game Boy Pokemon Training Card Game, or is this just just its own thing? Training Card Game Pocket. Oh, it's. I'm pretty sure that's is that the same logo as the game. I'm I'm not sure. Uh, okay. Coming 2024, so no release date. But hey, that's awesome because that's what, what a saw was the world's first a lot of people have been Pokemon requesting. Card Game Pocket. This game lets you easily collect Pokemon cards, which players all over the world have enjoyed since they debuted in 1996, but in a new digital format. That's pretty cool. That's actually uh, something fans have been requesting, so that's nice. Party collaboration with Creatures Inc., the creators of the Pokemon trading card game, and DNA mm -hmm. are partners in the development of Pokemon Masters EX. And to mark the launch of this title, here's yeah, a message DNA. from Mr. Oh, I mean, also I've developed a lot of. President a lot of CEO. other, uh, a lot of Nintendo mobile games. Mr. Kitano, take it away. Hello, everyone. I'm Yuji Kitano from Creatures Inc. I'd like to start by thanking everyone for enjoying the Pokemon Trading Card Game. With Pokemon Trading Card Game Pocket, we hope to bring you all a new way to enjoy the Pokemon Trading Card Game. So we are hard at work. Okay, we got through the mobile games cards. quickly. Got got something that was actually genuinely interesting, and and, and I'm sure genuinely cards, excites fans. We but, to please uh, now we're back to uh, care with our paper quality, <laughs> the guys in suits talking for a bit. <laughs> Which hey, that's Pokemon Since presents for you. This game uses mobile devices rather than paper. We're challenging ourselves to express that care in new mm -hmm. ways that are only possible digitally such as using the characteristics of the screen to show off brilliant colors and stylish effects. One way we're accomplishing yep, this is with immersive cool. cards, which give players the experience of leaping immersive into cards. the world right. of the He's card illustration. Something. I guess that's unique to uh, the, the mobile training card game experience and also, I guess, battle system, so you, can enjoy you know, a quick uh, battle maybe that also means exclusive cards to this mobile game. But yeah, that's... that's that's really nice that uh, the, that this is something that, that fans have really wanted, are all and, and we're getting it. Uh, fun experience for those we'll see. It, it doesn't seem as much as a, a dedicated game as, well as, as the the Game Boy trading card games. We hope you but look forward hey, to the results it's, it's of still our nice to have this experience. It's, it's more game, definitely more focused and dedicated on thank you so much taking the trading card game with you wherever. Thank you, Mr. Rather than the, the website, you know, you can carry it around just in your pocket. We plan to launch Pokemon Trading Card Game Pocket within 2024. Please look forward to more details in the future. Yeah, no concrete release date, but uh, Just one more thing. sometime by the end of this year, like most likely, hopefully. With one final video for you all. Thank you for right, tuning in. To the end. Okay, uh, so either way, uh, this 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 one last thing is gonna disappoint some people. Uh, because, you know, um, there's, there's already several things that people have been hoping for and people have been requesting for over a year now that we haven't gotten, so we only have one last thing, and let's see if it disappoints or excites. Okay, this, uh... Splash screen of, of Game Freak. Looks like maybe a... Ooh. Oh, is this a... Very stylish trailer, I like that. Ooh, what is this? Visually striking, but is this... What, what is this reflective of? What might this be? Oh wait, this is...
That is the tower from X and Y, right? He is not, not being much of a Pokemon fan. Yeah, Lumio City. So... Oh, oh, yeah, okay, I was about to say that. Yeah, a new Pokemon Legends game. Z? Is that an alpha? This is Z alpha? Oh, Z and alpha, so it's two Legends games. Wait, what? That's crazy, they're finally making Z? Pokemon Z, but it's, it's a Legends game. I, I guess that's it. I, I guess that's it. Um... Wow, but actually a good ending to an otherwise just okay presentation. Okay, so this was a pretty typical Pokemon Presents, but it did have those two exciting things at the end. We started off with the typical glut of mobile games and free updates, but they got through that pretty quickly, and they got to something that the fans actually care about. A, a dedicated trading card game. Uh, on the go, of course. It, it's mobile, and it's releasing later this year. So... That's pretty cool, and that's actually something the fans actually wanted. And lastly, that, that last announcement. That's pretty crazy. That's pretty cool. Even as someone who is not a Pokemon fan, I get that that's a big deal. Not only is it a new Legends game, but it's finally Pokemon Z. It's finally... Pokemon Z is... is, is which is crazy, because... We always expected it, but it never came. They just immediately hopped to the next generation without giving us Pokemon Z, but we're finally getting it. And as a Legends game, no less. I, I talked about I only played I have only played one Pokemon game, and it was Pokemon Legends Arceus. And so it's exciting to get another Legends game. But most exciting of all, it's not coming till next year, which really shows me that hopefully Pokemon has figured out that they need to give their games development time. Because there are some talented developers at Game Freak, and they just need time to make good games. Games that truly live up to the legacy of Pokemon. And so, while this Pokemon Presents did have some pretty typical and, and sluggish Pokemon stuff that are in Pokemon Presents, it also reassured me and excited me that the future of Pokemon looks a lot brighter now. We have a, a new Legends game on the way, as many fans want it. We have a dedicated trading card mobile game on the way, as many fans want it. But not only that, but they're taking their time with these things. And that actually gets me excited, because that's what they need to do. The Pokemon company needs to let Game Freak take its time to make the games the most that they can do. And of course, I love Pokemon Legends Arceus, and I'm probably going to love Pokemon Legends Z or, or Pokemon Legends A, or Alpha. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's probably just A, probably not Alpha. Looked like stylized Alpha to me, but it's probably just A, which is also cool. They're releasing a Pokemon Legends game in two versions. So they're giving Legends kind of the, the main series attention it deserves, because I really love the concept of Legends, and I'm really looking forward to having it in a futuristic setting rather than the, the rustic setting of Legends Arceus, which I loved. But they're expanding the Legends, and that's really awesome. And I'm really looking forward to it next year. And I hope that they take their time to make it all that it can be. And so that was the Pokemon Day Pokemon Presents 2024. It actually didn't disappoint me that much. I entered in with low expectations. I got what I expected, but I also got a bit more. Two announcements that genuinely excited me and interested me. And that's actually good. This was a good Pokemon Presents, especially after the two very middling presents of last year. We didn't get the classic games on NSO, but that's okay. We got a new Legends game that is taking its time and is coming out next year, and that is very good. And I am looking forward to this new Pokemon Legends game, and I'm looking forward to, hopefully, Pokemon putting more time and effort into its games to make them, again, the most that they can do. And so, that Pokemon Presents didn't disappoint me. And I'm surprised to say it, and I'm delighted to say it. Thank you so much for listening to a non-Pokemon fan react to a Pokemon Presents. This has been Kiro Tarkai, and I will see you next time. Oh man, a new Pokemon Legends game. Oh, this is so exciting. I love Legends.